Thank you. Yeah, you the bishop of the single United uh, Pentecostal Church and I'm the bishop of the United Pentecostal Church of Liberia and Guinea. Okay. You just received an award. Tell us your own impression for this award received. Well, I want to firstly give glory to God and I appreciate the award and I appreciate the, the givers of the award, which happens to be Smart Media Group. We want to say thank God, we appreciate it and we are thankful. We heard, we heard you say in the statement that we live in a world of ingratitude. I mean, does that reflect in Liberians as well? Oh, yes, not only Liberians, but all over the world. I have traveled a lot um, from continent to continent. Ingratitude is part of uh, human nature. But um, it doesn't mean everybody has to be that way. We can turn the leave around as smart media group has done today to come and tell us thank you. You recognize what you are doing. It's more than silver and gold, it's more than diamond. You represent the church of Iberia and you receive such an impeccable award as the I mean, future of the year on the 18th. What does it mean for the Christian community and what can you see the other bishops and other men of God around who are suffering the last? Well, uh, to the Christian community it means that the gospel we are preaching is the true gospel of salvation. That uh, there's no name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved except the name Jesus Christ. And two, this, I will use one word, faithfulness. Um, this should be a message to bishops and pastors that whatever you are called to do on this song, do it faithfully. You don't know who is monitoring you. You don't know who is emulating you. And God is looking at you also. So if uh, Bishop Bena were not faithful to his calling, the gray card would have been very bad today because the vetting team came and did an investigation, made background uh, check to know who this man of God is. If I were faithful, I believe they, they, they would just cross me up uh, because I know they are sincere and say, well, this man does not qualify for the award. The young people are challenged today when it comes to moral. As a bishop, what are you doing to transform young people in Liberia? Well, we, we, we are preaching the word. We are constantly and setting an example. I tell you what, I'm a lover of young people. Because my philosophy is that any organization or any church without old people is an organization or a church without a history. Uh, any organization or a church without young people is an organization or a church without a future. So the young people are my heartbeat, and uh, we are sponsoring some of them in Bible school, and we are helping some of them in grade school to make sure that they become the future generation so that there will be no generational gap. The Bible says after the death of Joshua, there arose another generation who did not know the God of Joshua, and we don't want that to happen. So I'm calling on the young people. Liberia depends on you, the young people. Get away from immorality. Get away from those vices that will cripple the future of this country. Pay attention to your education and uphold those moral values that will put Liberia second to none on the continent of Africa near the rest of the world. Liberia is also a challenge in terms of corruption and insincerity. Now, Liberia has an investigation Why is it taking as a question? Well, let's see what the result of the investigation is. I don't want to, uh, I mean, those that have been taken to, uh, to court or whatever, let them hear what they have to say, and then uh, so something will determine what should be done. But what I, I can say is that to all Liberians, let us be sincere. Let us be sincere, because when we are sincere, we will uh, improve our country. And especially we call ourselves Christian. The fact that we are Christians should let us know that sincerity is required of us at every sector. From the church level, from the religious level, to the political level, the social, economic, led sincerity prevailed at all levels. Is there anything coming you would like to say? Yes, I, I just want to thank 
my own people, the United Pentecostal Church of Liberia, also the United Pentecostal Church of Guinea, who are praying with me, working with me, because my people really, really love me. The leadership with me, they really, really love me, and we all are working together. To the young people, I'm still calling on the young people to follow the path of righteousness, the path of morality. Wickedness and sincerity will not help. They will only corrupt and destroy the next generation. And to our media people, uh, let's be factual in our uh, information dissemination, uh, taking into consideration that the media is powerful, very, very powerful. What you say counts a lot. If you release the true story, bravo. But if you don't do that, then of course, will be heading in the wrong direction and I trust all of you that you will do your best to be factual in your information, dissemination, and whatever you do, fear God. Is there a call for national leaders too? Yes, national leaders as well. All of us are national leaders, not only from the political <laughs> setting, but from the religious setting. Let sincerity flow from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top. Whether you are a bishop, be a bishop does not give you the right to steal church money. <laughs> Being a senator or a political leader does not give you the right either to, to use money that you shouldn't use. Let all of us be satisfied with our income and serve our people. This is what made David powerful when he was king of Israel. He said the people of God, the people of God, the people of God, the people of God. If you can put your people first, God will always put you first. So national leaders, wherever we are, let us put our people first, and God will put us first. Thank you, thank you, brother. You are very welcome, and have a joyous day. Thank you. Thank you.